La mafia por dentro es una serie que nos lleva al corazón de las organizaciones criminales. En Conexión Claro entrevistamos a Lu Ferrante, el conductor de esta serie de Discovery y además un personaje muy especial. Ya verán por qué. La entrevista está aquí para ustedes. Soy Lu Ferrante. Fui el capo de una pandilla en la mafia de Nueva York. Hice ganar millones a la familia Gambino. Pero me atraparon y pasé ocho años y medio en la cárcel. La mafia por dentro es sobre gangs de todo el mundo. Y yo travel cada week a un lugar place para meter a un different gang. Y I investigo los different uh, aspectos que make up that gang. ¿Qué es that underworld culture about? ¿Qué drives them? ¿Cómo they make their money? ¿Es there structure in the organization? ¿Es there a hierarchy? Uh, ¿Qué do they have to do to get into the gang? ¿Qué do they have to do to stay in the gang? And, and it's basically uh, an inside look for the viewer into these different underworlds. Hay soldados patrullando el perímetro, pero las autoridades no controlan lo que pasa adentro. Así que la gente de calle 18 son los dueños de la cárcel. Uh, la mafia por dentro was, was a, a, an idea uh, that, that was hatched originally by Discovery when they wanted to put a real person in a real situation. That's what Discovery does all the time. So before the, uh, to investigate prisons and look at the prisons and gangs that we looked at, they didn't want to take an ordinary journalist or media presenter and stick him in to a situation where he might have been a little bit of out of place. They wanted to take somebody who had been in prison, who had been in a gang, and I was the perfect fit. Cuando un hombre de negocios te da su palabra, casi nunca la cumple. Pero cuando un pandillero te da la suya, es lo único que tiene y casi siempre cumple. I was prepared just by living for years as a gangster and, and, and going to prison for years. So I mean, my whole life experience was the preparation for the show, which makes the show so real. Uh, you know, I mean, I didn't know that when I was sitting in a maximum security prison, living in a, a cockroach infested, dark, dreary cell for eight and a half years, that I was basically going through this uh, uh, training process for this show. 700 tipos están saliendo de sus celdas. Interrumpieron la siesta, dejaron lo que estaban haciendo y están saliendo al patio. Creo que ni el Papa podría organizar una reunión así de rápido en el Vaticano. The best experience of the show uh, was probably uh, when I was in El Salvador. They struck a truce. Two, two of the most violent gangs in the country have been warring for years and they were able to negotiate a truce between each other. And from what I understand, uh, I've been following it pretty closely. The truce is holding up uh, since we've made the show. ¿Quieres una segunda oportunidad? Claro que sí. Le di toda mi vida a la pandilla. Ahora es tiempo de dedicar mi vida a Dios, a mi familia y a mí. I think the biggest misconception is that they're not people, that they, that they think of them as some alien type of life form. And I try to show in this, in this, in this series that, yeah, some of these guys are bad guys with no hope. But some of these guys aren't. Some of these guys, you know, they have warm feelings like everybody else, and which means, which means they have the potential to be somebody else if they made that right decision. Si tuvieras que elegir entre ellas, la pandilla o tu hija, ¿a quién quieres más? Son cosas diferentes. Las amo las dos. Follow me every week as I journey to the underworlds all across the globe and visit the gangsters, the most ruthless gangsters and the deadliest gangs on the Mafia por dentro. You need to watch it. Ojalá el resto de la pandilla calle 18 pueda cambiar y deje atrás la violencia, las guerras, los asesinatos y las extorsiones que le han provocado tanta tristeza a tantas personas.